Well, hello friends. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Nova. And today we are back with more Lego Fortnite. So I'm all comfy and cozy. I have my little cup of coffee and I am just so excited to jump back in to more Lego Fortnite. So in the last episode, we spent some time trying to survive our first night in the beautiful land of Legos. And I spent most of my morning with my daughter. We spent lots of time trying to figure out where I should build my first little village here. And I think I have found the perfect place. So we were kind of looking for places with water and places that would probably have lots of mines and lots of resources so that it's a lot easier to create buildings and craft other things like tools. So check this out. So I had to survive a night on my own here. But if you look over here, we actually have my own little lake area. So it does lead into a river that goes upstream to where my camp was. So all of this kind of leads together. If I follow that up through there, it should lead to where my bed is. So if I ever want to go back and I can go and help Bright Bomber over here and show her where my new village is. But I had to survive the night on my own and this seems to be the perfect place. So the reason why I love this area so much is not only for the little lake, but if we go over here, you can look off into the distance. And this was my favorite part. If you look off in the distance, we can actually see that huge snowy mountain. And I want to go there eventually. I want to go at the very tippy top and look down at the beautiful creation that is Lego Fortnite in the nice little map that we have. And another thing is that is super cool is that we also have a, another biome very close by. And it is one that I haven't even seen before myself. We have a deserty biome. That is so cool. It's a dry valley. So that's what this is called. So it leads right into my base. And there are wolves here. There was even a giant monster over there. I think they're called brutes. And it looked rather tough. It would shake the ground as it walked by. And I got a little concerned. I wasn't sure if this was going to be a safe place for me to start building. But he kind of wandered off and all of the wolves wandered off. And I have my nice little sheepy friends and I had some chickens nearby. It's just wonderful. But I have been living on pumpkins while I've been out here. I didn't realize you could actually eat the pumpkins. So this has been my breakfast, lunch and dinner <laughs> is the pumpkins. So go ahead and start eating on that. So I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. I do want to, if we kind of look at what we can build we can go in here and we can create a village square so that is what i need to build so that we can get started with the rest of the stuff so i need to go in harvest some more wood and then we can start building our village which is so fun i'm really hoping that right bomber will come over here and i can show her that i was able to build a village all right so i'm chopping some trees down I just really love that there is a, a little lake nearby and I think that is so cool because I do want to do some fishing. I haven't done that yet either. There's so many new things that I want to try. So let's go over here and let's make our village square. I'm so nervous when it comes to placing down the village square because it's like the center of where you can build. You kind of have like this giant radius. It's not really giant. It's not really giant. You kind of have to plan this out. So I wonder if this would be a good spot. I don't want to build too much into the water and have enough room to build on land. Oh my gosh, I hope that this works. I wish I would show you the radius of how far you can build. All right, so I have my very first village and I want to make it pink. <laughs> and I love the cute little icons that you can choose. I like the idea of a cozy little cabin all right so we are at my village it's a level one village and we can go in here and we can actually upgrade our village and we can get many different new things like we can have lots of more villagers and even new building 
recipes. So, now that we have our first village, I was wondering if Pipe Bomber would make her way over here. I may have to go and tell her what I have done because she's kind of helping me through the process of living out here. But look! My village! There's nothing here, but it's beautiful. I love it already. Okay, so what do we need to do now? I might need to go and tell Bright Palmer that, hey, uh, my village is ready to go. But I might wait. I do want to build something of my very own. So we can build map markers, which is so cool. It would help me find places on the map. But let's go ahead and make ourselves a house. I did buy the, what was it called? There is a little bundle in the shop right now that only costs about three or four dollars and it gives you all of these cute little furniture pieces. I can make my room super cute and I can even decorate Bright Bomber's house with having these cute little decoration pieces. I'm getting so distracted. Let's go ahead and start making a house. I don't want to build one from scratch just yet. I might just make this simple shack, but I do need to gather some more wood. Let's go ahead and do that. And I might have to grow, gather more pumpkins for myself to eat. And I was wanting to see what all of these smoke things are coming from. You see that little smoke coming off of there? It leads me to believe that someone might be over there. Let's go ahead and go over there and see who lives nearby. I do want to meet up with my neighbors and make sure that we're all on good terms. And I am not going over anybody's boundaries with where we are building. We have some cows nearby. Is that a mine? Is that a mine? Hold on. If this is a mine at the top of this mountain, that is going to be so cool, but it's going to be quite a task getting up here. But I'm so curious. Oh, no way. We have a mine at the tippy top of the mountain nearby my village. Oh, this is great. This is so great. Oh, I'm so happy. I was really worried about where some mines would be at nearby my village because I had to leave behind two wonderful mines next to where my camp was. It looks like someone has built a house over here. Kind of looks like the uh, house I was staying at, except this one's kind of a little bit, this one's a little bit taller than the one I was staying at. But it looks like someone's here, so I'll pull up my dagger just in case they're uh, not friendly kind of want to approach everyone with caution oh someone is definitely here uh oh I think they're bad yep they're bad they're definitely bad do I want to take them on but I don't want to die let's kind of crouch and see what's going on over here one two three one two three four five villagers I see uh oh have they spotted me Okay, so we do have some baddies nearby. That's okay. I won't approach them just yet until I'm heavily armed. I don't think my little dagger is going to do any harm to them. Looks like they had some ranged weapons, so I will stand my ground over here. <laughs> okay, I have lost my base. It's okay. It's up here. The thing is, I'm hoping that they don't decide to investigate my house and take over my little village. Because I'm not, I'm, I don't mean any harm. I promise. I didn't even go and attack them, but that is very curious and I do want to go and investigate very soon because they might have some wonderful treasures. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, there's like a huge boulder here that I can move around. Huh, interesting. Okay, the sun is already setting. The days are... Oh! oh there's a tomato guy here. Hi, Mr. Tomato Guy. Tomato head. Saucy salutations. I'm Tomato Head. Nice to meet you. If fresh flavors are what you're looking for, I'm the one to ask. This place is much bigger than an island. I think I'll stay at your village tonight so I can rest. I want to see it all. Here, go right ahead. I mean, we don't have a lot going on. Well, we have someone at the village now. Hi, can I, like, tell you to stay? Hi, are you from the island too, Nova? I've been battling brutes forever. I wish I could settle down in a nice village somewhere. How can I lead you to victory? Do you want to live in my village? A spot just for me? That could be nice. But your village doesn't meet my needs. It sure would be nice to sleep in your village, but you don't have a bed for me. Okay. 
I can probably fix that. Let's see what kind of thing that we can build, Mr. Uh, tomato Head. Can I even build in the water? Hold on. Did I put my little thing too far? Oh no! I don't think I can build a cute little, uh, a cute little dog. Oh, that's frustrating. I put it way too far inland. Well, that's okay. Maybe you can increase the radius. Or maybe you can move it. I hope that you can move it. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to lose Tomato Head, but I wanted to build. Okay, we're going to have to just remove my village. I'm sorry, Tomato Head. He's, he just vanished. Oh, my gosh. No. Well, I really wanted to build a... I wanted to build a dock, so... Will this be close enough, I wonder? Let's try to do this again. My second village. <laughs> okay. I really hope that Mr. Tomato Head will show back up. Okay, can I build a dock now? Okay, this should be perfect. Hoping that it won't be too, um, too small to build there. Okay, so let's go ahead and build a shack. Now that Tomato Head's gone, we have lost a worker, which really sucks. But that's okay. I'm going to build them a house over here. We'll go ahead and start working on that, but I need to gather some pumpkins because I'm hungry again. Have I eaten all the pumpkins? Oh no, I have I have eaten all the pumpkins. Well, I guess I'll have to eat some raspberries now. Well, I'm so sorry that you guys had to witness me destroying my village and building it back. Sometimes that happens. I get a little um crazy if I can't build how I want to build, and I want to build a dock eventually. Okay. Wait. Someone new is here. It's not Tomato Head. Who are you? Spark plug. It's spark plug? Oh, Hi. Yeah. <laughs> the name's spark plug. If you like to build things and get crafty, I'm around to help. Nice to meet you. I'm used to dropping into strange new places, so it's good to see a friendly face. This place is much bigger than the island. I think I'll stay at your village. Okay. Will you do that? I do miss Mr. Tomato Head, though. Hmm. That's okay. Maybe spark plug would be nice to have around. Okay, so let's start building. I am going to try to build them a nice place to stay. So it would be a good little area for them to live at. So let's go ahead and start. Ooh. Put the walls down. Oh, I need more wood. That's what's happening. I was like, why can't I build anymore? Okay. I do want to keep some trees inside of the village. So I'll kind of drop some of these down. Some of the ones that have already fallen. I'm really hoping that this is a good little place. And we're already getting little villagers arriving. Which is so cool. I didn't think anyone would find my little village. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Okay, let's go back over here. Some more wood. This thing's going to take a little bit of wood to build. So let's see. A nice place for them to stay warm would be perfect. I know it's kind of ugly, but this is the best I can do with the plans that I am given. We can always tear it down and rebuild it and make it look nice. Look at that, I'm building, I'm building my own little shack. Doing such a good job. Okay, it's almost done. Got a few little pieces left and I need more wood. I need to just gather so much wood. I forgot to do that. Oh, it's so nice. And I'm hungry again. Those little raspberries are not going to do it for me. And I broke my my axe. That's okay. I want to try to build get this house finished up so that they can have somewhere to sleep tonight. It would be nice to at least have someone staying here at the village to help protect me at least. Okay, we have... Two more stages to complete, so that's not bad. Okay, there's one. Let's finish up the last little piece here. And then we should have just this little back piece to finish up. And there we go! The shack is done! Oh, look at that. How wonderful. I have skeletons nearby. No, don't kill the chicken! No, no, no! Stop, stop, stop! 
stop farming my chickens. I need them. <laughs> I really need them. Okay, this thing is glowing. What can we do now? Are we a level two now? Upgrade our village. So we need more wood and granite to level up. And then we get all of these pieces too. Foragers for hire. Some nice new recipes for bigger buildings, which would be perfect. Okay, spark plug. I am trying to make you a bed. So let's see. We need some more wood. Oh my goodness. And I don't have an axe either. I think I need to make a... Gosh, I'm gonna have to just go forage for wood at this point. I've got to find wood on the ground because I have used my axe until it has broken. Don't mind me, skeletons. I'm kind of busy right now. Can't really fight. Looking for more wood pieces is kind of difficult because I really wish I had built a stupid crafting table before this happened. Okay, Mr. Skeleton. I think I'm going to die. I'm gonna have to eat this raw meat. Okay. Everything is okay. I need more granite too. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm just gonna go up the river a little bit to see if I can find some wood lying around. Yep, here we go. It's always the best place to go and find little twigs and stuff is near the river. And also some rocks. And we have some corn here. Oh no, a spider. No, spider, go away. Whoa, that skeleton's just swimming around. Like, what is making that noise? There's just a skeleton swimming. What I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to... Oh, more pumpkins. I'm, I'm trying to get enough to make a crafting table, which I have finally done. I should be able to go back to my base and build a an axe for myself because I was hoping that I would be able to help spark plug with having a good night's rest here but I can't even provide that I'm all over the place today I'm so sorry sometimes that happens in a lot of these kind of survival games we have those off days but I think it's needed in order to see how far we progress let's go ahead and build my crafting table I am going to build it over here in my little shack because if it starts raining again we cannot use the little crafting table which really sucks sometimes but I'm gonna put it right here and now we can use it if it rains so I need some more wood I need one more piece of wood look at that skeleton over there just swimming in the water not a care in the world okay black some more granite another spider oh my gosh come here but it is so awesome that we have a mine up there i was not expecting to find one so soon all right gathering some more wood all right i found my last piece of wood so i can actually go and make my my forest axe look i found more wood <laughs> that's how it goes is whenever i actually find everything that i need all of the resources show back up okay let's go back over here and let's start making my axe and then i can make a nice bed hopefully or spark plug. She might end up leaving because it's taken me so long to get her a bed a bed built. Okay, I need lots of wood. Don't worry, spark plug. I will get that bed for you in the morning when you no longer need it. Let's go ahead and chop some more trees down. The skeleton should be disappearing anytime. And then we don't have to worry about them too much. But I do need to eat some more pumpkins. Let's go ahead and eat our breakfast of pumpkins. Delicious. All right, so look at that. I have spark plug a bed and it's morning time. <laughs> I am so, I am so sorry, spark plug. Let's put it right there for you. Now I assign this to her. Okay, I can set it as my bed, but let's see. Hi, it's you and I'm me and we're all it's you and I'm me and here we are all squatted up as much as I love to see the world it's nice to have somewhere to stay how can I lead you to victory would you like to live in my village 
A spot just for me? That could be nice. Do you have a spot for me to sleep? Yes. I've been dreaming of a new bed and now I can dream about other stuff. Thanks. Make yourself at home. Yay, we have our first villager. I wish it could have been Tomato Head, but Spark Plug is good too. We'll take anybody and who knows, he'll show up eventually. Okay, she put her little pack on the bed. Look at that. Oh my gosh. How cute is that? So what is she going to do now? Is she just going to hang around the fire? Can I like tell her to do something? Hi, spark plug. Um, let's talk jobs. Um, so I can tell her to go exploring with me. Happy to put some elbow grease into it. Lead the way. So she can actually protect me now. So if wolves or spiders decide to attack me. I have a friend. How cute is that? Okay, so let's try to upgrade our village. We need more wood and lots of granite. Okay, spark plug, come with me. We need to start working on gathering more granite and wood. I think granite is going to be the easier thing to get because there's so much of it lying on the ground. And I'm really wondering where Bright Bomber went. I wonder if I should go and find her and tell her that, hey, I've got a village. Let's see, will she take care of the spider? Oh, you're wonderful. Yay! Do we have something over here? It looks like there was a chest or something. Oh my gosh. Am I going to sink to the bottom? Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. I lived, I lived. There's something over here. Which has really caught my interest. It looks like there was kind of a treasure chest of some kind. Let's see what's over here. Ooh. This looks fancy. It's like a little gazebo with a giant box in it. Let's see what's in it. Try to open it up and see what's inside. Whoa! What happened? What just happened? Enemies? Wait, was it? It was a trap? It was a trap! I'm gonna take care of the person with the crossbow. Oh my god, they're harming each other. Wow, it was a trap all along. Well, that's unfortunate. Can I open the box? Let's see. Maybe they had a key. There we go. Look, I got treasure on treasure on treasure. It all worked out for us in the end. There's also another little fairy. Gosh, I'm getting so much stuff. Okay, little fairy, where are you taking me? Let's see what it has found. I have all sorts of new recipes after fighting those guys. I think I see it up there straight ahead. But I don't want to get lost. Oh no! Not one of those guys. Watch out! Let's take care of this guy. I don't know if a pickaxe would be better to fight him. But for now, I'm just using my little dagger. It's helped me out so far. Alright, we have another treasure chest. Take care of that spark plug. Let's open up this thing. Hopefully it's not another trap. Let's see what's inside. Please, wolves, wait until I open this. <gasps> a shovel? Is that a shovel? A shovel. Oh, now we can make a garden. Oh my gosh. Man, we have found so much today. I'm very impressed. All right, we're going to head back over here. And... Ooh, there's a llama. Oh, on the normal Fortnite, you just beat these guys up like a normal pinata. Hi, pinata. What happens if I pet you instead of... Oh, you still blow up. That's fine. That's perfect. I didn't want to harm him in the first place. My inventory is full, but I'm starving. Let's eat some raw meat again. Ew, so gross. Okay. There's an axe here. Oh, it's a forest axe. Man, that would have been handy earlier. Some flour. Holy moly, look at all the stuff I have. What can I throw down? Maybe the vines, because I do want to get this flour. Anything else? Raspberries. Okay, that's it. Alright, let's head back. I really need to make a chest for all of this stuff. And pull it, put all of my things in certain chests. I don't know if you guys are this way about your crafting materials and stuff, but I love to make... Lots of chests for all of my different things so I can kind of organize my inventory. 
we'll have one chest for wood and rocks and food so we'll see we'll see if i can make a chest did i even get enough to upgrade my village let's see did i do it i need a couple more pieces of wood of course after all of that fighting those bandits petting a llama and following a fairy it wasn't enough to uh upgrade this village which is okay let's see what we can make now we have all these toys that we can make i'm hungry again man the hunger in this game is relentless at times i was kind of looking for something we can do a garden somehow but i don't know where it would be at fences furniture okay here's the small chest it needs planks which we need to make a workshop for all of my machines and stuff and I, of course, need to eat again. So let's eat my pumpkins. I just need to have pumpkins in one hand and a weapon in the other, apparently. Cannot sate my appetite. One more pumpkin. Man. All right, let's try to chop down some trees and upgrade this village. It's taking so long. I don't want to chop down the bigger trees because they're so pretty. And we'll try to get rid of this one. I think if I give her the right tools, she can help me harvest materials. And then I can eventually get someone's job to just collecting wood. Which, of course, is super helpful. But for now, I don't have that. <laughs> Alright, can we upgrade this village? Let's upgrade this village. Yay! We're at a level 2 village. Look at us go, spark plug. We're awesome. Okay, so I do want to have a place for a workshop. I want to have like residential areas over here. Maybe I can have one close to the water to be a workshop. So let's go ahead and try to set one up. Um, not one like that. Maybe one with a porch or a roomy shack since there's so many different machines to use. I need lots of more wood. So let's harvest some more wood and let's go and set the foundation down for our workshop and then we can take a, a little bit of a break and then we can see what the next day brings actually guess what spark plug i have an extra axe for you here how do i give this to you um uh, take this give forest axe Okay, she took the one that I was using, but that's fine for me because it was kind of broken already. All right, can she help me with this? Well, these trees are not too, too big, so let's go over here and see if what she can do to help me. All right, come over here, spark plug. Help me out with this tree. Chop, chop, chop. Oh my gosh, she can help. She can help me. That is so cool. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, we should have enough to build our roomy shack. Okay, let's go back down here. Oh, who's this? We have someone new. Oh, it's a hamburger guy. Beef Boss. Hey there, you can call me Beef Boss. And the answer is yes, I'm hungry for adventure. Nice to meet you. This little place is a little new to me, so it's nice to meet a friendly face. I've been exploring for hours. I think I'll sleep in your village tonight. Beef Boss, I would love to have you live at my base. Let's go ahead and make him a bed. I know that it might take away some resources, but this is worth it because he's so cute. Okay, Beef Boss, maybe I need to talk to you about living here. Hopefully I can have more villagers. Live in my village. A spot for me? That could be nice, but your village doesn't meet my needs. My village is too crowded. <gasps> Can I tell Sparkplug to leave? Leave. Um, I can head back to your village. Is there something you want me to do? Resource job. Refine wood. Collect nearby resources. It'll take her one day. Okay. So I can't exactly tell Spark Plug to leave, I don't think. Oh no. Beef Boss, please hang around. How much do I need to... Okay, we'll have to get some 
planks and more granite. Oh, I'm so worried that he's not going to stay here, but I'll go ahead and set this as my bed in case I have an issue to where I, uh, you know, die on my adventures. So let's go ahead and build our roomy shack for our workshop. I think the perfect place to build it would be somewhere kind of near the main area since that's kind of going to be where we're going to be at mostly. So I will put it right here. Gosh, where's the best place to put this thing? It's like so hard to like plan out where I want my base and stuff. Here, I'll put it right there. That'll work. So let's start building it and get everything into place. And of course, we're going to need some more wood. Gosh, that seems to be the issue of this episode. But luckily, I have Spark Plug who will go and find me some more wood. But I think this is the perfect place to end it off on. And next to Mr. Beef Boss here. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. It has been an absolute blast. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to join my little community. I would love to have you here. And as always, don't forget to take care of yourselves. I will see you all in the next episode. All right, my friends, take care. Bye-bye. Oh.